Hello there, this is Mad Wilkes and I'm Mad Wilkes and Tarot. It is Sunday, December the 19th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, everyone? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. They're flipping all over the place. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no gender in tarot. Got the deck for the collective. Spirit. Two of Cups, Soulmate Energy. I've been baking today. I only had two successful. <laughs> made five batches. I only got two successful batches out. First card out. Ooh, the star, the beautiful star. I love her uh, dress here. Casting a spell into the water, casting a spell into the air. All the stars in the beautiful sky. She's gorgeous. This is the angel card. This is the wish card. What are you wishing for? Decide so that it comes to you now. Aquarius energy. Oh, I didn't even didn't notice her cat. Her cat is white in this one. What is crossing this? The Knight of Wands. This is has a this for this card has a player energy attached to it. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Knight of Wands. He's good looking, charismatic, fun to be, sexy and exciting. Um, there's the dragon, his wand, uh, but he might be spreading his wand all over town. Player or play at energy. Consciously known, three of wands, three of wands, waiting for something or someone. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, waiting for your ships to come in. Unconscious. The Six of Wands, the victory card. Wands are fire energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, you see her. She is dressed in um, a gorgeous dress. I didn't even notice there is uh, dragons on here because Wands are fire energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Uh, she's getting a flower from this person. Uh, all these other people are in the background clapping and cheering. Uh, you might have have some kind of so presence on social media. Uh, people are watching you. You might have to do, I don't know, speeches at work. People are watching you and in a good way. Recent past. Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Cups are water energy. Can't Pisces Scorpio. This talks about friendship, puppy love. Reunion, nostalgia, you know, thinking back to a time when things may have been better or, and sweeter. But just don't look at the past through rose-colored glasses. Sometimes things were not as good as we remember them. There was a reason it's in your past. Near future. The Wheel of Fortune. The wheel spinning in an upward direction. This is success. There is a house, a pot of gold, doctor symbol, shooting star, the sun, diamond ring, book, heart. I'll take the diamond ring, thank you. This is the wheel spinning in an upward direction for you. Success. Where do you find yourself? Ten pentacles. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ten pentacles. This is ultimate financial abundance. This is the happy couple. This is chill, uh, as you can see, or it looks like a teenager, um, a preteen probably. There's a toddler on the ground. Cats, dogs, house, property, ultimate financial abundance, everything. Money, money, money. External influences. Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles talks about equal give and take. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's talking about equal, you want equal to give and take in your relationship.
hopes and or fears. The strength, Leo energy, the strength, this talks about taming the beast inside. Can talk about lust with uh, these wands here. Or having the strength to get through things that are challenging in your life. Overall outcome, Six of Swords, moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters. This may have been painful, but you are moving on. So it seems like she's sneaking out in the middle of the night. Moving away, Swords of Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, Two of Cups, Soulmates, Divine Counterparts. Cups are Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Stu people are like at a bistro. They got their looks like wine. Um, sun is coming up. We're going down. Soulmates, divine counterparts, true love. Oh, but you have options. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This talks about having options in love. There's a branch, stars, a wand, a book. Love. Money, coins, it looks like, and a castle. You have options. Nine of Wands. It's called the Wounded Warrior. See, there's a bandage on her head. Wands of Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. See all these wands on the ground. She has fought through each and every one of these witches. She's still got her wand up. She's going to fight through everything else had come to her she's tired though been through the battle expecting more of the same but she's still she's still fighting ace of cups cups are water energy can't Pisces, scorpio this is new love i like the lasso around her head I like that kind of spinny feeling you get when you first fall in love you know what i mean and the sun leo energy the sun, happiness, joy, bliss. Look at the beautiful sun shining. They're dancing around. Sunflowers. This woman looks like she's pregnant. You might have, might have a pregnancy in your life. The sun. We started off with the beautiful star. Waiting for something or someone. The victory card. Nostalgia. Success. Ultimate financial abundance, equal give and take, the strength, moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters, soulmates, options in love, new love, and the sun, happiness, joy, bliss. We had some player energy and we had some being tired, being going, being, going through the battle. Oracle cards. Peace. Peace. Like hermit energy. Also this uh, ultimate financial abundance. Equal give and take. It's talking about peace. Higher power. Look to your higher power. To help you with anything that's challenging in your life. Like strength. Sometimes we are just, you know, talking to source. Whatever strength was. Bottom of the deck, serendipity. Finding things when you're not looking for it. I think that means. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. I will, I love that card. And flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Take a couple of majors. The Empress. Divine Feminine. Sitting in her throne. Sitting in her power. Knows her worth. Doesn't get out of her throat for anybody or anything. Uh, always birthing new ideas. This is a second pregnancy card I've seen here. Um, so, this might be in your life. Always birthing new ideas, money, etc. 
and the emperor oh we got divine counterparts here again emperor and empress emperor sitting in his throne sitting in his power knows his worth can be stubborn with the my way or the highway attitude this emperor will cut out any person that no longer serves them some people like to think that the emperor is uh, kind of negative i used to too but now i think the emperor um the empress i think that she has divine feminine energy she doesn't put up with crap and really the emperor same thing divine masculine independent doesn't put up with crap either i think i gave the uh emperor a little bit of the bad rap for a while you are the star the victory card Wheel of Fortune, Ultimate Financial Abundance, Equal Give and Take, The Strength, Moving Away from Something That No Longer Serves, Soulmates, Options in Love, New Love, The Sun, and we had The Emperor and The Empress, More Soulmate Energy, Peace, Higher Power, Serendipity, Let Your Friends Help You, engagement and flirt all right hey everybody have a great evening i will speak to you tomorrow this is amanda wilson of amanda wilson tarot bye for now